In this example, I try to use a picture to show why we a hierarchical clustering can be useful. So uh, I first uh, for this demo, I used uh, several packages, the heat plus uh, from our bioconductor and uh, to our library for picture processing, ADIM Pro for picture reading and PixMap. <coughs> so I first read a small picture in PNM uh, function uh, format and convert, take the pixels out and convert it into a matrix and then use the image function and plot it in grayscale this is my original picture yeah, the original picture uh, many uh, people probably can recognize uh, is a well-known person and then uh, I shuffle this picture use a sample command. A sample command uh, here is basically doing a permutation of the rows of pixels. Uh, so, and then do the image again in the same grayscale. So this time, yep, all the rows of the pixels are somehow are uh, presented in a different way. Uh, so the shows that the columns of pixels are, are shuffled. But what I'm shuffling, those are the axes. Uh, so I'm basically shuffling along the x direction. This is the x direction, this is the y direction. So <coughs> in, the, in the matrix, I basically shuffle by rows. This is uh, row. So the comma, before comma, that's row, after comma, that's column. So here I did a permutation by rows. Yes. Now, here's why we want to do hierarchical classing. So I use HCLST R function and cluster based on the distance matrix. <coughs> After doing this clustering, I uh, put the, the pixels uh, in the cluster that the orders and then and we show this uh, picture in grayscale again this is a clustering result okay so you, you can see this is a uh, uh, not perfect picture the, the perfect picture is this but after the clustering it is uh, somewhat useful. You can tell there's a person there. You can even tell there's an arm there, this body there. But it is useful, although it's not perfect. But it is much more informative than the random than the random data. And uh, so, and basically, this is a. Uh, 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 this is what uh, uh, I'm trying to show. So we have an original picture. If we shuffled it by uh, rows, and that's a kind of a random data. This is mostly the biological data you often see. But after higher IQ clustering, we will uh, have a better uh, understanding of the raw data, even though it is not the perfect truth uh, we know. But it is much more informative than a random data we have. Okay, I hope this is helpful.